In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create profitable Snapchat ads step-by-step -step for as little as $5 a day. We're gonna be going through this exact funnel that you see right here and how to build this out. So let's jump right in. The very first thing you will want to do is create a Snapchat ads account. If you don't already have an account, you can click the link down below. And there are actually, Snapchat's actually running a promotion right now where you can get uh, up to $375 in ad credit. So be sure to sign up for that and take advantage of that offer. Once you've gone through and signed up for your account, it's going to take you into a view that's going to look something like this. This is the Snapchat ads manager where you actually go through and build your campaigns and your, uh, your ads. So you can see inside of here, it's going to ask us how we would like to continue. If you don't see this screen, immediately when you get into the ads manager, what you want to do is come over here to create ads and then click on create ads and you'll see a view that looks like this. Now it's going to ask if we want to do the instant create or the advanced create. We want to go with the advanced create because it gives us more options and flexibility so that we can actually hit the right customers and have the most profitable ads possible. So we're going to hit advanced create here. And now we are at the first step of building our campaign, which is actually the campaign level. And in here, it's going to ask us to select an objective. You can choose whatever one is best for what you're trying to target. If you're trying to get leads, you can choose lead generation. If you're trying to get sales, you can choose this. For here, we're just going to drive to website, keep it very simple. And then at this point, now it's going to ask for a campaign name. Now, how I like to name this is I like to create a uh, campaign that's called prospecting. These are people who have not heard of my business before and that I want them to be aware of it. So we're gonna call this prospecting right here. We're going to leave the status as active. We're not going to create a split, a split test for this because this is like a low budget um, kind of uh, beginning campaign. And then we're going to do the start date uh, today. And then we're going to not set a daily spend cap or a limited uh, lifetime spend cap. We're going to spend, we're going to set the budget at the next level that you'll see here in just a minute. So that's all we need to do for the campaign level. We're going to hit next here. Now it's going to ask for the ad set name, and we're going to come back and name this ad set here in a little bit. It's going to ask us for our pixel. If we have that set up, if you don't have it set up, don't worry, you can run a website objective without it. But if you wanted to set up your Snapchat pixel, you can check out the links down below and I have resources on how to set up that pixel. If not, you can uh, just continue on through that. Then right here is where you can actually go through and set the budget. And what I like about Snapchat is you can run profitable ads for as little as $5 a day. Some of the other platforms, you have to spend a minimum of 20, which is uh, sometimes a lot for people. So it's nice you can go down to as little as $5 a day. Of course, you don't have to, you could spend more if you would like to, but uh, if you're just getting started, starting off with $5 a day is a good place to start. We're gonna set our daily budget at $5 here. And then our goal is going to be to have clicks. For the bidding, we're gonna leave it at the auto bid because chances are this is maybe your first campaign inside of Snapchat. And so you don't have a lot of data to go off of. So you don't want to go into these kind of more advanced things for target cost or max bid uh, just yet. Just let TikTok go through and, and find the bid, the sweet spot, so to speak, for you. Then we scroll down here. We're going to leave the placements on automatic as well. And then the location, this is important. You want to make sure that you choose the location that you are wanting to target. For me, I'm wanting to hit anybody in the United States, so I can leave it there. If you wanted to target a specific state, you could click down here and then target specific states as well, or you could change the country location as well inside of there. And then of course we have the demographic targeting. You can target ages 13 to 50 plus here, or you can change that as you need. Uh, say that you wanted to target maybe people that are actually uh, 22 and older. You could go through and do that. I generally recommend targeting over 18 to just to, typically because 18 year olds and younger just don't have a lot of uh, cash or, or money, but depending on your, your, your product, it may make sense to target 13 uh, and older, but we're going to do 22 to 50 plus here. We're going to leave the gender on all the languages. You can go through and select a specific language here. We're going to do English. And then there is advanced demographics here where you can target by household income, but we're going to leave that blank for now. And this is where we get into the audience targeting and there's lots of options that you can do inside of here, but we're just going to keep it very simple. We have a product that is a dog leash and we want to target people who are interested in dogs. So what you can do is you can click down in this little drop down, and you can uh, search for a specific thing. You can see dogs doesn't show up, but if I do pets right here, you can see pets, it will show up all sorts of different targeting options that we can do. So you can see pet and animal lovers. That's probably going to be a good place for us to start. Or what you can do is you can click down, you can target by lifestyle shoppers or visits. So if I click this down, I can scroll through this and see if I can find something that is related to pets inside of here. And you can see pet and animal lovers, there's that audience. So two different ways that you can find those audiences. For me, I'm going to be targeting this pets and animal lovers here. You're gonna notice it's going to give me an idea of the weekly results I will see from this. So I can get up to 44 clicks with my $5 a day budget and reach um, uh, up to uh, around 600 to 4,000 people. So a, you can reach quite a bit of people for a little budget here inside of Snapchat. And because this is a, uh, uh, audience that is very targeted towards pet and animal lovers, chances are it's going to be a great uh, audience for my product. 
Now here you can have this expanded audience automatically. What this does is uh, Snapchat will use its, its algorithm to find people who are likely to purchase your product as well. You can test leaving this on or off for now. I'm going to leave it on and I'd recommend that you leave it on to begin with as well. Then here we can also opt into different devices. Honestly, I almost never uh, change any of these settings. I leave them at the default. This starts to matter a little bit more if you're promoting an app or something like that. So if you're promoting an app, this may make more sense, but if it's just like an e-commerce thing, then you can probably leave all these devices just as the default. Then we're gonna scroll down here, Del uh, delivery. We want to keep this status active and then don't worry about any of these third party targeting. Uh, then we can move on to the next step. But before we move on to the next step, we do want to come back over to this ad group and we want to be as descriptive as possible with this. You can see we are targeting the United States, all gender 22 plus. It automatically adds those in. And then I'm going to do uh, add as well, pet lovers here. So we are targeting based on interest, which is exactly how our funnel is kind of going. So we have our prospecting campaign. We have the ad set targeting uh, uh, interest and behavior targeting. And so now we can come back over here and move on to the actual ad creation. And we're gonna hit next. And then with Snapchat, there are actually a lot of different ad types that you can run. Uh, some ad types that are very unique to Snapchat. You can see here in this top uh, top bar, you have single image ads, you have story ads, collection ads, and AR ads. If you're just getting started, I would stick with single uh, images or videos. That's probably what most people run. That's what most of the time I run, sometimes with collection ads as well, but for majority of people, single image ads or videos is gonna be what you're gonna run. You can name this ad, we're just gonna call this dog leash. And then here, this is your pro public profile that you set up when you were setting up your TikTok ads account. Then you can do a brand name here. We're just gonna call this Zoco Pets. Uh, this is just a fictional brand if you can't tell. And then here in the headline, this is where you want to add a headline. This is gonna show up down here below. What's nice is you can have uh, AI generate this for you. Um, so we're gonna go through and generate a headline here real quick. So I'm just gonna get generate with AI. We're gonna do, this is a dog leash for two dogs here. You can give it a style if you want, but we're just gonna generate this here. It's going to give us um, some different headlines to go for, and I'm gonna move myself out of the way, out of the way here. Um, and then we can choose this, one of these right here. And honestly, none of these are great. So I'm actually just gonna write my own here, heavy duty dog leash, and then um, no tangle if we have enough. We So you can only, you can see you can only have 30 characters here. So we're just gonna do heavy duty double dog leash. And then this is where we actually go through and upload our media. So we're gonna click here and we're going to upload the video that we created. Um, now, this is where a lot of people will probably have questions on how to create Snapchat ads. Now, when it comes to creating Snapchat ads, you have three different options. You can even, you could either build or film the video yourself, or you could hire a creator to do it. Or in, in today's age, you can actually have AI create a video for you. There's resources down below on all of those so that if you wanted to um, create different ads, there's different styles for that. So now we have our video all created, and then we do want to make sure we go through and select a call to action here. So we are going to choose one that makes sense for instance, uh, shop now is going to be one that we're gonna to wanna to do. And then we send it to our, oops, not that. Uh, we want to send this to our URL here. Okay, so now we have our final URL inside of here. The last thing to do is hit review and publish and your campaign will go live, but that's not all you're gonna to wanna to do after this point. You're gonna to wanna to come back over here and as you can see in this strategy, we have ad creative one built. You're gonna to wanna to go through and duplicate that ad and put in some different creative inside of there so you can test different messaging and different ads and see what is going to convert best for your brand. This is of course for a lower budget strategy. If you're wanting to learn more about how to scale your account and do strategies like this, where you're spending up to 10K or maybe 5K or 3K. I actually have a full Snapchat ads course that you can check out right here that goes into all of these details in more depth and teaches you everything that you need to know to become a professional Snapchat ads runner. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out that free course. There's no upsells or anything in there. It's just a 100% free course that I hope you check out and find value in and we'll see you in the next one.